Today I'm replacing the valve cover on a E90 BMW. This is maybe a 2011, and it's a 328. Uh, it's a, not a not a 335 or anything like that, but very similar job. Um, just want to talk about a couple things. If you're just gonna try to stick a new gasket on it and put this back together, don't clean this very well. <laughs> it seems like it goes against nature, but you don't want to bring this to safety clean or anything like that. Just clean, pull the gasket off and just clean the gasket surface and uh, put your new gasket on and stick it back together and then clean it afterwards. The problem is the way this works with the um, breather. If you get, if you get um, safety clean or any kind of solvent into the breather system, it'll go to this diaphragm right here and uh, it'll prematurely fail. It'll just break it down. So um, yeah, so just kind of clean what's necessary and then put it together and then you can make it look pretty afterwards. But um, if, you, if the car has over a hundred and something thousand miles, you may want to consider just replacing the entire gasket. Or, I'm sorry, the entire cover. This one's getting a new cover altogether. These are made of plastic and over X amount of heat cycles, they actually start to distort. And you'll see that sometimes they don't keep very good tension on the mating surface and they'll have a bunch of weird things like these, these caps commonly pop off right here. The, whatever kind of adhesive they use on these little breathers, they'll fall out of there. And you know, like this one, this is missing, should look like this. Um, so at that point, it's probably best just to replace your entire cover. Um, it's a little bit more money, but it avoids, uh, avoids future problems. You want to do it again. So yeah, that's all. Thanks for watching.